What's the biggest reason businesses get stuck? They're on the same plateau, they're on the same revenue level, and what I have found is there is a common reason that businesses get stuck repeating the same revenue level, repeating the same profit margins, or even potentially diminishing that level, and that's because they fail to remember you need to reinvest first in order to see growth. One of the biggest mistakes I see entrepreneurs and business owners make is investing and building a team for where they are today, not where they want to be tomorrow. If you wanna actually have the fast track to growth and success, what you need to do is you need to invest first and reap the rewards. Instead of trying to squeeze everything out of the same resources, the same stones that you already have. This is one of the big mistakes I see people make is they set their budgets, whether it be marketing budgets, right? They're like, oh, you know, I made X amount last month, so I'm gonna set a marketing budget to be able to do that again, a budget based on what I did last month. Well, guess what the most likely scenario is gonna be the following month? Because you set the same budget you did the previous month. But here's the secret, right? If you're getting a return on ad spend, especially if you're using YouTube ads, which if you want some resources, they're down below, but let's say you're getting 5X ROAS, if for every dollar you put in, you're making $5 out. If that's happening, why would you just set the same budget you had last month if you wanna grow and scale? Why wouldn't you spend a little bit more? And again, you're testing. If you wanna learn more about testing and growth and all of that, take a look at our marketers mindset videos. Everything's a test. You're seeing what works, what doesn't work. But why not test a little bit of additional budget, right? And grow and spend to make what you want to earn. Most people don't reverse engineer it. They look at their budget first. But let's say you made $100,000 last month and you spent $20,000 on ads. And the following month, you wanna make $150,000. You wanna see that increase, you wanna see that jump. Why would you only spend $20,000 on ads when you could spend 30,000? Maybe you need to plan for a little bit of diminishing return, so maybe you should plan to spend 33,000 or 35,000 and then see where you're able to land. But the big problem that people make is they keep the past budget because they saw that that worked and they just wanna say, hey, oh, well maybe I want 6X returns or I want this. What you wanna do is you wanna focus on what's gonna allow you to see that growth and reinvest now in order to see the scale. And then what you can do is say, okay, now that we've hit this, how can we reduce our budget and get the same results? Now it's the same thing with your team. Most people make the mistake where they hire a team for where they are today, not to get them to where they wanna be tomorrow. And what that means is people oftentimes end up playing catch up. If you find yourself making a hire only after you realize, oh man, we need this hire, then you're behind. What you wanna be doing is planning out where do you wanna go. So it's the same thing, you might actually wanna think even more months in advance. So marketing, you might wanna think one month in advance, but you might wanna think a whole quarter in advance when you're considering your hires. If we're at this point this quarter, and we wanna be here next quarter, we wanna see that growth, then you need to hire this quarter for the team that's gonna take you over here. Because the downside is if you don't do that, one of two things is gonna happen. One, you might not be able to get that growth because you don't have the team in place to see the growth, or two, if you are able to get the growth, maybe you spent more on advertising, you're not gonna have the team necessary to fulfill at that level, and you're gonna see problems with your fulfillment and your back-end systems and structures, and you're gonna get to that next level, but you're gonna be incredibly stressed out of your mind, or your team's gonna be stressed out of your mind because they're not able to support a business of that size because you don't have the team yet, and you're gonna be playing catch-up, and you're gonna say, hey, we need to hire, we need to hire, we need to hire, instead of hiring in advance. This is one of the biggest mistakes I see because a lot of people don't understand, especially with online businesses, the concept of reinvesting for future growth. If you look at any other business out there in the marketplace, reinvesting is incredibly important. And it's commonly understood, right, if you're buying, let's say, inventory to then go and sell something, that you need to make the capital allocation, you need to make the investment first and then reap the rewards. The problem is, as entrepreneurs, sometimes we're scared to take risk first and then reap rewards. So we're looking for the reward first and saying, hey, we'll match the risk afterwards. The problem is it doesn't work like that most of the time. And unless you have a major catalyst for growth, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see yourself constantly trying to squeeze as much resources out of what you have instead of taking the path where you reinvest and see that growth now. 
So that's the biggest mistake that entrepreneurs make is not understanding reinvestment, not understanding that one of the biggest secrets is you need to build your team, infrastructure, and budgets around where you want to be, not where you are right now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found it valuable. Right here on the Alric Heck channel, we're gonna have lots of additional videos here. So be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon. And if you're interested in learning on how to get ROAS, like 5X ROAS, every dollar you put in, you make $5 out or more. Uh, what we wanna do is invite you to attend our YouTube ads strategy call or trainings right down there in the description below. You can learn how to build your own YouTube ads or Grow your own YouTube channel. If you're looking to build your first business online, a YouTube channel is the most profitable way to build a business. Those links are gonna be down there in the description. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and share this video with anybody else who needs to see this message, and I will see you in the next video.